Now, if you already love bargain hunting at the Dollar Tree, then this video is definitely for you. And if you're unsure about the Dollar Tree, you might be surprised by all the items I'll be sharing with you today. Hey guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge. I'm Jennifer, and in today's video, I'm super excited to share with you 35 things you should be buying at the Dollar Tree if you wanna save money. Dollar Tree has so many awesome items for craft projects, for organization, they have gifts, seasonal decor, and so much more. Now, in my experience, not all Dollar Tree stores are the same. Sometimes I visit Dollar Tree, they don't have much in stock and I leave empty handed. While other times, I kind of feel like I hit the jackpot and I end up coming home with a cart full of fun finds. Now, before I share with you my 35 favorite items from the Dollar Tree, I do have a couple of tips if you're new to bargain hunting there. Number one, definitely shop early in the morning if you can. The store is a lot less likely to be picked over if you can get there bright and early and lots of times the good stuff goes fast. Tip number two is to visit several different Dollar Tree locations locations. So many times if one location doesn't have what I'm looking for, another location about five minutes away will. So definitely kind of get to know the different Dollar Trees in your area. And then number three, it definitely helps if you make a list for what you're looking for. I find sometimes when I go to the Dollar Tree, I get distracted by something else and I walk out of the store without the thing I went in there for, if you know what I mean. Now, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you love Dollar Tree videos and hit that red subscribe button for more videos like this in the future. Okay guys, now with these 35 items, I've kind of broken them up into different categories. The first category is party supplies. First up, I want to talk about the cards. Dollar Tree has a huge selection of cards. Some are two for a dollar, some are a dollar each, and many of them are actually Hallmark brands, so they're really good quality. I found similar cards at Walmart for $3.99, so definitely save yourself some money by getting these cards at the Dollar Tree instead. After all, even though many people enjoy receiving cards, only about 60% of people on average hold on to them. So don't spend a lot of money on something that might get thrown away. Now, the next three items I always buy at the Dollar Tree are all related to gifting and presentation. Personally, I love wrapping gifts as nicely as I can because I think the presentation of the gift is part of the whole experience. But with the gift bags, the wrapping paper, the tissue paper, and even the bows from the Dollar Tree, you don't have to spend a lot to wrap up your gifts nicely. And I was able to find similar bags at Walmart for almost $5. So these are definitely a good buy. Now the same goes for wrapping paper. And these come in lots of colors and patterns and even different types of wrapping paper as well. And I also love all of the gift bows. In this category, I do want to go ahead and mention the balloons from the Dollar Tree as well because they are so much cheaper than if you buy them at any party store. At the Dollar Trees near me, they don't usually have a lot of choices in stock or they're quite often out of helium. So if you can find balloons at your Dollar Tree, they are a really good deal. Next up is the crafting section. Now, personally, I'm not much of a crafter. Well, unless you count crafting with food when I'm making lunches. But my kids, on the other hand, they love crafting and the Dollar Tree has so many kid-friendly options. First, we love the unfinished wood projects. These come in so many different variations and it's really easy to find something that all of my kids would like to paint. And speaking of paint, we also love the paint brushes. I have four kids, so I kind of need a lot of paint brushes. So we definitely stock up on those. We also like the Mod Podge for making Christmas ornaments. We love the seasonal art projects. They have a really nice selection of stickers here as well. You can find something for everyone. And then finally, we also love the wreath forms. Right now at the Dollar Tree, they have so many different shapes. And you guys, we actually have a video from way, way back in the day where the kids and I made some simple Halloween themed crafts from the Dollar Tree, including a Halloween wreath. So if you guys wanna check that out, I will link it down below. 
Okay guys, next up, emergency preparedness. Now I have several videos about this on my channel and I'll link them down below, but whether you're trying to build up some emergency food storage or you're trying to put together some 72 hour kits, you can find lots of items for both at the Dollar Tree. Some of my favorite items include canned food. For 72 hour kits, I try to find foods that will last a long time and that don't have to be heated up to be eaten. Those are perfect. Next, I also like to stock up on the shelf stable milk. This is great to add to an emergency food storage pantry. Next, I think it's a great idea to have some candles on hand just in case your power goes out. These ones from the Dollar Tree are such a good deal. Now, besides candles, it's also a great idea to have some glow sticks as well. Glow sticks are a perfect thing to add to a 72 hour kit. The Dollar Tree always has a huge selection. Some are more practical and some are really cute. And then finally, the Dollar Tree also has so many different items that are great for putting together your own mini first aid kit. A first aid kit is a must for emergency preparedness and at the Dollar Tree you can find all the bits and pieces to make up your own kit. Now on to the fun stuff. These are the things that my kids love from the Dollar Tree. Now I know sometimes toys at the Dollar Tree get a bad rap because a lot of them don't last very long. But trust me, if you look around, there are some hidden gems that kids love. First off, around Christmas time, you can usually find lots of awesome stocking stuffer items. A few years ago, I made stockings for all of my kids only using Dollar Tree items and they loved them. And you guys, speaking of Dollar Tree items, watch out for these little chickens. They look really cute, but they sound really annoying. When I was in the store making this video, just about every kid that walked by these chickens had to squeeze them at least a couple of times. Next up, road trip activities. Now in our family, we love a road trip. I've shared lots of different road trip themed videos on this channel over the years and a lot of the activities that I buy actually come from the Dollar Tree. When I'm looking for road trip ideas, I definitely try to find things like coloring books or activity books different non-messy art kits are awesome. Today I was able to find these cross stitch kits which look super fun and of course they also have things like road trip bingo which are great for any road trip. Next up a budget friendly family movie night. At the Dollar Tree you can actually find DVDs. Now the types of movies you can find will definitely vary but there's usually at least something for the kids. While you're there you can also pick up some popcorn, a popcorn bucket, and of course, don't forget the movie candy. Now at this Dollar Tree, they have their candy section completely stocked up. You guys let me know in the comments down below, what is your go-to movie candy? Next up, camping items. First, I love these solar lights. These are surprisingly good quality for just a dollar. I like to stick these in the ground all around our campsite. That way at night, it's a little bit safer for the kids and it keeps us from tripping over stuff. Also for camping, I love these shower caddies. And when we go camping, I actually bring several of these and I use them in different ways. First, I use them to organize our frequently used items outside of the camper. That way we're not constantly having to go in and out to get what we need. Of course, I also use them for a shower caddy. That way you can easily take everything we need to the showers. And we also use one to hold the sidewalk chalk that the kids spend hours playing with when we go camping. Now you guys, these are just a couple of camping ideas with Dollar Tree products, but I do have a separate video with lots more ideas if you wanna check it out. So now moving on to the seasonal items. I'd say out of all the Dollar Tree items, I probably love the seasonal items most of all. First, I can't say enough good things about the decorations. Honestly, these are really amazing for just $1. Right now in the store, they have mostly Halloween decor and fall decor, but I am seeing some Christmas decor items as well. I don't do a lot of crafting myself, so buying these things from the Dollar Tree already ready to go is usually what I end up doing. Now, another thing I love to do almost every season is create different gift baskets using only Dollar Tree items. Making these gift baskets are actually really fun and it's something that I look forward to every year. And then finally, I also have to mention the Christmas ornaments. 
Now, I really love having a full Christmas tree with lots of ornaments, and I love lots of repeating ornaments. So the Dollar Tree is definitely a more budget-friendly way to do that. So next up are things for the home. And on the top of my list, I have organizational bins and containers. Right now at the Dollar Tree, you can really find so many different containers for so many different projects. For me, I really like these square white ones. Right now I have a lot of these organizing my fun lunch supplies. At the Dollar Tree, you can also find some really nice fridge organizing bins. And if you're looking to organize drawers or makeup, you definitely wanna check out these acrylic organizers. Now personally, I really like the white bins, but they do also come in seasonal colors as well. Next on the list, I have aluminum pans. Now at the Dollar Tree, these come in lots of different shapes and sizes. It really just depends on what you want to cook. Personally, I like to stock up on the casserole sized pans and I like to use them and reuse them for freezer meals. These aluminum pans hold up really well and are a lot cheaper than the ones from Target. Now this next one might surprise you, but I really think the painting supplies at Dollar Tree are excellent quality for their price. Now if you've been watching this channel over the last year, you'll know that I've done a room makeover for all of my four kids. And in all of those makeovers, I had to paint at least one wall. Every single time we painted one of the walls, we used rollers from the Dollar Tree. There is definitely nothing fancy about these rollers, but they get the job done and they are much cheaper than buying rollers from the paint store. Next up, kitchen gadgets. And I actually have several favorites. I can't just name one. First, I really like these measuring cups. They're nice and white and simple. I also really like these muffin tins, and I also bought a ton of these mini utensils to put in our RV. Now, finally, in the home section, I also wanna mention the chargers. Now, these do come in lots of different colors, and I have to say that these basic ones are almost identical to the ones from Hobby Lobby, but they're half the price. Now, in this store today, I was actually able to find two new styles, this really cute one for Halloween, and a checkered one. Okay guys, now I can't make a Dollar Tree favorites video without mentioning lunch supplies. First up, I absolutely love these snap lunch containers. Now these are very similar to the Sistema ones, but they are definitely half the price and they work just as well. Next, I love the lunch trays. These are perfect if you're serving lunch at home. They're great for kids who don't like their foods to touch. The only negative thing that I have to say about them is that I wish they came in all the rainbow of colors. Now, I also recommend the sauce containers. These are perfect for salad dressings or condiments. I also love the themed napkins from the Dollar Tree. And then finally, snacks. Now, I'm not sure why, but it seems like the Dollar Tree always has very unique, fun, and interesting snacks that are hard to find anywhere else. Now, I'm not saying these are healthy snacks, just that they're interesting and rare. I hope that this video gives you some good ideas on things you can buy at the Dollar Tree to save some money. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.